Hi, welcome back to the Arcade Repair Test video series. Today we're back at Michael's shop and we've got a monitor here that's having some color issues. And we want to try to figure out what's going on with it today. How are you doing, Michael? Good, Tim. How are you? Pretty good. The first thing that we got we got here is this uh, Cherry Master type game that I noticed right off the bat is the colors just look really strange. Uh, it's not very bright. It's kind of, it, it's missing a color. Exactly. And uh, so I see green and I see red, but it's kind of yellowy and stuff. Uh, what's going on with that? Yeah, we're missing blue. Okay. So without the blue, it might it affects everything else, everything else. Without blue, you cannot have white, so everything's going to look dim. Right. So, yeah, we have no white. It's kind of yellow, so we have no blue. So, of course, the first thing that we're going to try is to turn up the drive and all that. We did some of the adjustments back here, and as you see, as I turn those up, it's not affecting it at all. So, we have zero blue, not just a little or not bad, so uh, probably, you know, we're not going to look at any capacitors or anything like that, right? No, it's probably going to be, well, we need to start with the tube. It could be, you know, a bad tube. The blue could be totally gone out of the tube. Yeah, we get a lot of questions about that. In other words, how do we know that this is a chassis problem or if our tube is bad? Because tubes do go bad, right? Right. And could each individual uh, color on a tube go bad? They can. Okay. I know everybody's seen the colors smeared. Or the, you'll have the smearing around the edges. Um, you know, that's a typical, maybe a bit a bad tube. And it could not be. But a lot of times the color will totally disappear in a bad tube. Okay. So we need to check that. So we definitely want to check the tube and at least rule that much out before we go any further. We don't waste a lot of time with chances that the tube's bad. Okay. Well, let's go around here and look at the tube. Okay, so here we are at the back of the game, and it uh, looks like we got a Wells Garner chassis in here. And so what we want to do is remove this first, right, in order to check the tube? No, you can leave that on. Oh, wow, okay. <coughs> what you do on the back of the tube, on the back of the CRT board, some are labeled, some are not, uh, but you'll have a pen for blue, you'll have a pen for red, and you'll have a pen for green. And what you can do, is you can take a clip lead or a piece of wire and just clip it to a ground. It can be on the chassis ground. It can even be on the ground strap that goes around the tube up here. It just has to be on ground. And just moment, have either have a mirror in front of you or a, a buddy that's in front of you can tell you what's going on. And momentarily just touch the pin for each color. And what that will do is it will ground out the pin and you'll get a solid uh, blue screen or green screen, red screen, which pin you're on. And it'll be a, just a the brightest it can be with the retrace lines. And if you get that, then you know the tube is good. So these pins right here are exactly on the opposite side of the pins that we see sticking out of the tube, right? Right. Okay, so they're coming through here, and all you're going to do is just touch right there. Is a and Yes, we're talking about the pins. We can take this off and show. We're talking about the pins that are on your socket. So right. Don't don't look around here for anything. Um, it's going to be wherever your socket is on your board. It's going to be the pins directly behind it. Okay. And uh, there's not going to be really anything right there. You're going to damage if you touch the wrong pin. Just doesn't. Just don't hold. Don't hold it on there. Don't clip it on there. Just momentarily touch it. Okay. And just for a second. Just for a second. Just long enough to see what the pitcher's doing, and let go. Okay. And uh, if you touch the green and you get a bright green. Uh, picture and then you touch the red and then you touch the blue and you don't get anything then you know the, the, the blue in the tube is bad. Okay, so right now let's touch that blue and see what it looks like. Okay. Okay, so Michael is back behind there now and he's going to do what he told us earlier. We still don't have any blue so we're looking to see if we get blue color when you momentarily touch that, the screen should turn blue for just a second. When right. I touch the blue pin, correct. Okay. Let's just, let's just go through all the colors make sure every sure. color is good and strong. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, here's green. There's our green screen. Okay, red. Red, so we know the red is working. Here's, here's the winner, blue. Ah, we have blue. So if we have blue then, we know that the tube is fine. Okay. So the two, what you're testing, show red, green, and blue. 
So we know the tube is okay. It's not a tube issue. Right. It's just something's not driving the blue on the video. Okay? Okay, remember that we still do not have any blue when the game is being played. So we know that it's not the tube. So where's the next place that we need to look? Well, on the back of the neck board, uh, you'll have three transistors, and each one will drive a color. It's assigned to a color. And uh, on, on one of the leg of the transistor, you'll have a big, uh, usually a two-watt resistor off of there, and I would check both of those. And since we don't have blue, since we're missing the blue, that's I check the blue transistor and the blue resistor that go to that color. Okay. And then just okay, Michael, I saw that you pulled this dry transistor out, and then you checked it with a meter. How, what did you check? How did you do that? I checked with it, the dial test on the meter, and I found that the emitter to the collector was shorted. And um, that was your problem, I bet. What is that, replace it and go from there? Okay. So I see that you soldered in the transistor for the blue dry, and wow, look at that. The blue is back, we got white, monitor looks great again, so good job, Michael. And then, uh, anyway, we hope that you learned a few things today. Uh, one thing is that if you're not getting a certain color, it's a real quick way to check your tube. Doesn't take but a couple minutes, and at least you can eliminate that right before you start digging into the chassis and recapping and all this stuff. So, uh, had it not been the transistor, where we, we might have went after that? Well, you check, there's, there's a video I see that puts out the initial signals for each color, and uh, that's, that's the only place it could right. be after that. Not much, that. not much less, so for one good thing though, is a real simple check, go ahead and eliminate the tube if possible. Right. That saves you a lot of time, and, and tubes do go bad, not yeah. as often. Not as often as a lot of people think. Right. But they didn't go bad, so a good way to at least eliminate that problem. So anyway, we hope that you've enjoyed this video and you've learned something from it. Uh, if you need to email us or write us or anything, let us know uh, if you're having any other type issues, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, thank you again, Michael, for your help, and uh, thank you for watching the Arcade Repair Test video series, now in high depth.